Instead of our world getting better and better, it seems to be just getting worse and worse. You know, profits are more important than people, and we just need to turn that around. I'm Oliver Dykstra. I helped organize Occupy Minnesota. I am Kathy DeCray. I work the Occupy Minnesota legal hotline. Right now our society is just like, you're all consumers, we're a corporate government, and, but I'd like, to, I'd like us to be citizens again. Bringing attention to the issue by sitting out here is super important because these injustices have been existing for quite some time now, and people just constantly um, feel like no matter who they vote for or you know when they write to their representatives or anything like that, it's not being heard because corporations have such a heavy lobby in their able to lobby the same amount as people are in the same way because they have they have the rights of a person. Even a month ago you would never have heard a, a GOP candidate talking about uh, the income inequality gap yeah. or you wouldn't have seen um, President Obama being asked by the press corps about the same thing. Um, and you can see that it's already started to change, change that conversation which is the first step towards making real change. A lot of people are coming out here who never would have came out here before. Um, even if it's just for a night or to drop off some blankets or to do something, they're showing their support for the people who are occupying here indefinitely and you know pushing the movement forward. We're not just a bunch of, of young hippies, <laughs> you know. There's a whole bunch of professionals here, students. Yeah, how do, you, how do you think we'll survive the winter and what happens after that? Well, I've been hearing some really awesome um, conversations around, you know, putting some pressure on the foreclosure movement and um, occupying different places, you know, in St. Paul and across Minneapolis too. Um, just homes are gonna be foreclosed so people can be, you know, re-empowered to take, take their own homes on and, you know, say, hey, no, you're not gonna foreclose on me. I'm going to do A, B, C, or D. We're Minnesotans. We That's are well true. practiced at, <laughs> at finding somewhere warm, yep, yep. hanging out at a coffee shop and, and Definitely. planning like crazy, you know? I, mm -hmm. Half the legislative session is during the winter and... Uh, yeah. I also think people just occupy the capital too. I mean, honestly, they'll probably just be in people in the rotunda all the time. How do we measure success? I'm with the legislative session coming up and elections. If we can pass some major legislation that puts some controls on what corporations can spend in while we're voting and on campaigns, um, or you know what they can, how much control they can even have on our lives, um, that that's a huge success but it's not even that it's just getting people out here and maybe it's only like a couple hundred more people who've never been involved in politics who have come out and do done something like they are re-empowered and like re-believe in the system and are going to call their senators and do things differently and that's and just look at it differently and that's really what matters at least for me if it all ended right now it'd still be uh, at least a partial success because of the impact it's had on the conversation. And I mean, so what I'd like to see is the ending of corporate personhood, yep. uh, a more just electoral system, because I'm personally here fighting for the 100%. To quote Wellstone, we all do better when we all do better. <laughs>